Assault on Democracy. That's going to be a title that's um, that's an ambitious title uh, for a CNN documentary that is premiering. It's a new documentary that's premiering Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific Time and re-airing several times in the upcoming days. The subtitle is The Roots of Trump's Insurrection, and those roots run deep into the right-wing media dirt. The influence of the maggot TV, the radical right web, the radical right web and social media is highlighted throughout the special. Former employees of Infowars and Breitbart, which are fake news sites, discuss the profit and political motives of their owners and leaders. CNN senior VP Jim Murphy says Info News also comes up. Um, it's important to connect the dots and say from the election of Barack Obama when Rush Limp Dick said, I hope he fails, through Breitbart, another, like I said, Breitbart, the fake news site, masses, massive influence on the former squatter and thus his sycophants. Um, exec, this is what the exec, um, the exec producer, um, Patricia DiCarlo, says, um, Trump shared more articles from Breitbart than any other source, she notes, and now the post-riot um, right-wing media helps um, helps keep alive the lie that the election was stolen, even though it wasn't. Um, regarding the riot, <coughs> we went behind the numbers, behind the court cases, and actually talked to the people who were charged. Correspondent Drew Griffin says, but what is fucking stunning is that even now, even facing the tremendous charges, some of them don't feel any remorse at all. They don't feel like they were in the wrong, even if they were. It's sad when you think about how inevitable the January 6th riot felt. In hindsight, um, Trump's lies were always going to lead to violence, and when I googled assault on democracy on Sunday, one of the first results was January, uh, was was going back to January 2018 um, reports by Freedom House, which was a, which they had a stark warning that democracy is under assault and in retreat around the globe. A crisis that has intensified as America's democratic standards erode at an accelerating pace. And this was January of 2018. Three years later, the fucking assault continues. <clears throat> Why the fraud is a new case cause for concern. Donny O'Sullivan, had, had, um, Donny O'Sullivan writes, There are concerning parallels between the lead-up to January 6th and the fast-approaching conclusion of the Republican-led audit of the election in Arizona. And some Trump sycophants, yeah, and even, yes, QAnon believers, um, are clinging on to the hope that this is going to be the big event that overturns the election, which it won't. Have we been here before? Yes. Some Trump sycophants believe that Trump would declare mar marital law and stop, um, or martial law, sorry, I'm spaced out here, um, martial law and stop the Biden inauguration. And others believe that Trump will be back on, on March 4th, which didn't happen. But what's different is what's different here is that Trump is publicly backing um, the buzz around Arizona, just like he was railing up his sycophants on January 6th. And stay tuned for Arizona. Trump's in the recent interview. It's going to be a very interesting time in our country because I mean, how do you govern when you lost? Um, parallels between um, this is parallels between January 6th and today. And Tim Miller writing for um, the Bulwark warns that, that the Republican leaders should not ignore the Arizona hype. Sometime soon after the result of the Arizona audit will be brought forth and still won't change the outcome of the election anyway. It seems quite li likely, given the participants, that the auditor ninjas will claim that Donald Trump won Arizona, which he didn't. Or probably won Arizona, who can say? Um, or who would or who would have won Arizona if not for those meddling kids? And if this happens, the former squatter and his ma maggot media echo chamber will once again stoke the flames of an insurrection. And, wa and WAPO's Philip um, Bump um, summed up the troubling parallels between January 6th and the now singular focus on Arizona. A place, a moment, an energy, just like the fucking Capitol. Yep. 